Good morning, all my brothers and sisters out there in YouTube Tube land, and welcome to Sunday Fellowship. Today, we are going to discuss September 23rd, 2017, Revelation 12, and what it has to do with you. Is the rapture really real? We're about to find out. I think on September 24th, we're all going to wake up and talk about how it didn't happen again. But it is kind of interesting. Genesis 1, 14 through 16 states, And God said, Let there be light, and in the ferment of heaven to divide the day from the night, and let there be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years, and let the light and let them be for light in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Now I find it kind of interesting that God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. And the first thing he says is let them be for signs. Now, this is going to bring us into Revelation 12. So let's see what Revelation 12 has to say. Revelation 12, 1 through 6 states, A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head was a crown, a crown of twelve stars, and she was with child, and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the skies. It was huge, a red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its head were seven diadems. Its tail swept a third of the stars from the sky and hurled them down to earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth to devour her child. And when she gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule the nations with an iron rod, her child was caught up to God and his throne. And a woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared to find God. Now, as we sit there and we look up at the sky on September 23rd, what you're going to see is Virgo, which is the Virgin. She's going to be there. She's going to have Leo above her, which is a constellation of nine stars. And she's going to have three planets aligned to make 12. I think it's Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And these are going to make up the 12 stars of the crown, as the Christian community states. Which I can see is a sign. She's going to be cloaked in the sun, and the moon is going to be at her feet. What I think is interesting is Jupiter and the red dragon. Now, this is going to get kind of scientific and kind of just biblical in the same sense. Is Inside Virgo, for the last nine months, Jupiter has been going around in a circle, and on the 23rd, she's supposed to, or uh, Jupiter is supposed to pop out between the legs of uh, Virgo. <laughs> dragon is kind of interesting because there's a planet that people aren't telling you about like Nibiru, Planet X, whatever it is and as these videos come out as we get closer to the 23rd I'm going to start going deeper into these but there's a planet that nobody's telling you about and I think that uh, anytime a planet sweeps by and has a magnetic pull it's kind of like a guitar string that vibrates and I think that's what's starting to affect the weather. We are starting to see the signs. I believe that. Do I believe it's a rapture? No, not at all. But let's just go a little bit deeper and see what we can find out. See, the disciples sit there and they ask Jesus, Hey, what is the end times going to look like? And Jesus told them, you can read it in Matthew 24, 6-8, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that you not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. 
for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquake in diverse places all of these things are the beginning of sorrows so the September 23rd sign is letting you know that hey it's about to rock and roll down here because we do hear of wars I think North Korea this is my personal opinion. I think North Korea is going to be the catalyst for all of this. They just seem heck bent on starting a war with the United States. And I think once that starts, people's got to choose sides. And that's going to be the start of World War III. What happens when the hurricanes went through is it destroyed Hurricane Henry, Hurricane Irma. You know, these two hurricanes went them so much water you gotta think of all the mold and Texas doesn't gotta tell you what chemicals they hold so they got chemicals in their waters and I think this is gonna be pestilences that you're gonna see we're gonna start seeing diseases you know the famines the Virgin Islands got wiped out I'm talking about Irma just clean their clocks there's gonna there's how your famines start and the pestilence, all diseases that you're going to start seeing. When Mexico had an 8.1 earthquake, so you better get right. That's all I got to say. You know, if you don't believe in Jesus, hey, that's on you. I truly, firmly believe that, hey, you have the God's greatest gift of free will. And you have the right to say, hey, this is all a bunch of BS, you know, take that to saying elsewhere but you know something I hope your house is in order because things are about to start kicking off on September 23rd are you gonna be raptured no and if we are hey I ain't gonna be here I firmly believe in the Lord Jesus is the pinnacle of my household we my whole family lives for Jesus you know I always pray for you guys and I just want you guys to just see that this is the start. September 23rd, let's see you. And I'll put out a video September 24th because I probably will be here. You will be here. And every other Christian that says, oh, we're going to fly away again is going to be here. You know, this is a test. Are you ready for it? Did you study for it? If not, A, it's going to get a lot deeper. And as we start going through these weeks, and Sunday Fellowship starts kicking off again, you're going to see that things are falling in line with the Bible. Get your house in order. Jesus is at your door knocking. Will you answer?